So there's a need for you to understand how to, to um, control adrenaline, and there's a need to recognise that your best fucking chance is to hit this fucker first. Now even if you hit somebody hard enough to separate so that you could run, this would be a good option, particularly a good option for a woman. It's called the stun and run tactic. Just because you can have it doesn't mean you should be standing there going toe to toe because lots of other variables would kick in. Other people or weapon could be produced or enforcement, fucking total strangers will jump in. It's all bad. Do you understand? But the criteria here is when should I be preempted? There has to be a criteria. So if some guy just gobbing me off in the street and I could walk away, what should I do? I should walk away. I shouldn't go, what the fuck do you say to me and come over to you and then preemptively strike you because that's not self protection, is it? Because I could have left. Understand that if you could have left, you should have. Right? We're working off the context of, I'm, he, he wants to give me a problem, I'm not interested, I go to leave and he very abruptly stops me. You understand? Now, if I stand here and go, look like, what is it you want? No, this, I'm doing it from a very non aggressive platform that's allowed me to get some athletic base to get one hand in front of the other. It's not so different from this, but it's non aggressive. Whereas he's relatively flat footed, puffing up, maybe pointing. This duration that we are exchanging words is known as pre-fight. Do you understand? This is where preemption belongs. Because if I stand here and he starts to amp up and amp up and he's already touched this one, so that's pushing back, he slap my hands down, and if I don't do anything at all, what do you think he will eventually do? He will fucking unload on you and he will completely <coughs> overwhelm you so that you can't recover. That's the tactic that you need to employ on him. First, so Musashi, Miyamoto Musashi, the one that wrote the Book of Five Rings, warring strategist, said there's three preemptions. The first preemption is hit him before he's even thought about hitting me. So he's calling me a cunt and my mother's a bitch and all the rest of it. He's rang him to intimidate those and I like, fucking bang him out. That's the first preemption. Hit him before he thinks of hitting you. The second preemption is, hit him the second he thinks about hitting you. So imagine having an argument with some bloke here, and all of a sudden he just looks down and he looks back. That's the moment he's made the choice to hit you. Or when it's your times, or well, before he was suddenly ranting, ranting, and now he just becomes monosyllabic and quiet, and almost stanced up. This is a micro cue that you want to be able to recognise. And if I recognise him that, him, man, that's when I'm going to hit him. That's when I'm going to nail him. And the final preemption, or the third preemption of the session is, hit him as soon as he twitches. So if he closes his hand, I'm hitting him. If he shifts weight, I'm hitting him. If he fires his brow, I'm hitting him. If he drops his chin, bang, I'm hitting him. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If you wait beyond those three opportunities to preempt, you will be defending. Which means he's fucking unloaded on you and you've got to reverse the dynamic. Much more difficult. <coughs> what people say when they talk about preemptive strikes, yeah, but he's just stood there with his hands down. Well, think about it. How do people come up to people when they dial and intimidate? They, they come up to you, then they puff themselves up with energy. If you allow them, they get right close in your face doing this and everything else. Do you see it? You see a clip recently where two guys are arguing, and all of a sudden he says something about his kids, then he hits you. It's like seven minutes into the audio. In seven minutes, he's like ranting and giving it all this with his arms down. He's not starved stuff like Sugar Ray Leonard. He's here. So, of course, if my hands are up, CCTV see this, witnesses see this. What does this say? Oh, so you go, look, mate, leave me the fuck alone, I'm not interested. And all the time his arms down, arms down, and pin up. Well, of course his fucking <coughs> arms are down. He's not stanced up yet. We're not in a fight yet. It's not started yet. Does that make sense? So here would be your opportunity <coughs> to fucking preempt. And as soon as you preempt, the idea would be it's man down completely. So on a pad, that looks like. As soon as you hit him, good impact, and obviously good impact has got to be present. Body weight transference, depth of target, and hit with bad fucking intentions. If it was a good shot, so let's use an example, a palm strike, open-handed strike, and I'm looking to hit with this bone to any bony fucking layer of his body, right, of his head. So if I hit his forehead, that will shake his brain. If I hit his chin, in the side of the ear or the back of the skull, any hard bony area will give me purchase when I hit it and shake the brain. So I stand out and knock out the curves. The hand hits the head hard and fast. The head accelerates. The neck muscles tighten and deaccelerate the head. 
because the brain's floating in fluid, it moves a split second later and then crashes inside of the skull. Depending on the force of the strike, it will rebound and continue to crash inside <coughs> into the skull. The body's central nervous system's natural way of protecting you from further head trauma, which is what's occurring now, is to switch on unconsciousness. Do you understand? So when you see the money shot and the fucking gum shooting coming out and the spit, where he's been hit and he's got this brain stem torque, his brain has been rotating almost 360. That's what creates the knockout. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If I was there like this in front of him, do you know when I land there? Of course not. So people always say about when they see preemptive strikes shown on the video, yeah, but he stood up with his arms down. Well, that's how it starts. Because if you think about this, the only way to be totally preemptive would be if I walked up to a total stranger and just fucking banged him out, just in case he was thinking about it. <laughs> But I would never do that because I'd end up in a strike jacket, wouldn't I? Or I'd end up in prison. So the only reason that I'm going to preemptively strike you is because you come up to give me a problem. You wouldn't let me escape because you encroached on my movement and you're not listening to anything I'm saying. Well, what's happening next is he's either going to shift weight and he'll fucking land me with a shot, he's either going to try and access a weapon and stab me, or he's going to grab me and do something. I want to hit him before he does any of that. Does that make sense? So I want to hit him before he even thinks about hitting me, or I want to hit him the second he thinks about hitting me, or I want to hit him if I see any change. Good fucking nail. And notice what I'm doing. As soon as I'm hitting him, I'm reaching for him. I'm reaching to attach to him. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm never going to assume that one shot is enough. I'm never going to hit him, punch, stand his back, stand and look at my handiwork. Because it could be two types of personality. It could be one that wants to fucking spit out some blood and give up straight away. Or it could be one that wants to spit out some blood and now he wants to fucking kill me. So if I've created an initiative here and it's not done the job, I need to continue until it has. Does that make sense? So think about boxing. Reciprocal exchange. His turn, my turn. My turn, his turn. Picture that in your head. Until a boxer maybe gets hurt and you see he's hurt and then he finishes him. We'll see that in the UFC as well. But street violence is different. Street violence is one-sided, asymmetrical, with an emotional presence. Criminal will come up to you, deceive you with dialogue, and smash you in the head. And grab a hold of you, repeatedly beat you down, and kick and stomp you senseless. Was that a reciprocal exchange? Or was that a one-sided beating? What do you think? Of course it is. One-sided beating is what works. That's why we're using it. So this actual principle of hitting first and continuing your attack so he cannot recover or retaliate comes from criminality. And it's what fucking works. Do you understand? Yes or no? Yeah. Right, so we're going to work a couple of drills that are going to relate to a preemptive strike. And we're going to work off the idea that if I hit him, it's not down cold cock. So the idea would be, I hit him, <laughs> and then I hit back, and then I'm fucking off. Stunning run. That'd be the idea. Anything in life that can go wrong will go fucking wrong, because life's not <coughs> real. So what I would get if I hit him in the head, and it just staggered him like this, would be a transition in target. So I'd hit him, hit him, and he'd move, right? Well, I don't want to wait to see which type of personality he is. I need to continue. So the way I'm going to continue, as soon as I swing this strike, I'm either going to grab his arm, which replicates grabbing him, well, I'm going to straight out and grab him, his clothing, his attire. And it's from there that I'm going to continue to hit, 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 until he is down, and now I'm going to leave. <coughs> Make sense? Yeah. So what I'm teaching you is something very gross motor. Hitting first, attaching to the subject, and then hitting him again, and again, and again, until he's no longer a problem. Yes? Yeah. It's a principle. And this principle is just... Proactive and defensive. <coughs> I'm not squaring up with someone doing a match fight. Do you know what a match fight is? Yeah. Match fights from your grandfather's generation. And Terry Toon's generation, right? Where you go to someone, you have a straightener. I don't exist no more, really. So you're either dealing with an ambush, he's attacking you, or you're recognising there's a problem building up and you act first. <coughs> That's what we're going to work first. Make sense? Yep. Get with a partner.